Okay, everybody, and welcome to the build of the Sonic Model Mini AR Wing. So, since we had a first look at this, and I have a lot more of those for my 349 micro quad, let me turn that down, uh, and we've also got the new... Uh, long range stuff, so that's, gonna, that's just the S plus decoder which is going to sit in here and then I've got one of the really tiny receivers to set it on the wing. Uh, but first step for us to do is get some goop glue and glue the wings on. And we'll take it from there. Also, that now has the right connector on it. Okay, so a lot of progress has been made. I glued the wings on, not massively happy about it. The goop glue was too thick. I should have used thinner glue so it would get pushed out of the way a lot easier to glue. Um, so we've got those in. I've also installed our S-Bus decoder. Video on the channel how these work. And we've just got it wired into the little uh, tiny R9 Mini um, with the antenna stuck out here. For those of you who are concerned, I checked after doing it. To, I will be honest with you. Um, but I have checked, and with the little winglets on the end, um, they go that way, um, it will be fine. Fingers crossed. Ahem. But anyway, so what we're on to next is I have, off camera as well, taped in, these are just the uber cheap uh, Banggood cameras. Needs a small amount of squidging just to get them back into the centre. And this is designed to just magnetise onto the front. Um, oh, a screw. Yeah. I'm going to tape it on though just to make sure it's safe. Um, and for the video transmitter, I'm just using one of the standard uh, e sheen, which can be on that wing tip as well. Um, so, yes, a little bit more soldering to do. Um, it's just going to get power from this JST connection here. And uh, yeah, we'll be all sorted and nearly ready for it to fly actually. Very, very quick build. Okay, so we are almost done. Video transmitter in the wing, in the yeah, in the wing with the, one of the smaller AMY antennas. Camera in the front. Um, everything squeezed into the inside. There we are, just sort of jumbled about. And put some velcro in under the battery and do the wingtips on, and then this is done. Balances about right at that point. Something that I will point out is. These servos sound incredibly high quality. So, I'll make sure the prop goes the right way. I will put some tape to hold this in. Um, I'll just show you what I've done under there. So, that is what I have done. Um, so, tape for that, Velcro for that, glue on the wing tips, and uh, put the prop on. And then we will all be done, ladies and gentlemen. All done. Okay, and here we are with it all finished. It already go look, you see the aerial bedding underneath, so that's fine. Props on it. It does, I've, I've, I've revved up a little tiny bit, and it makes quite a bit of noise, you could see, because of the distance from the plane. That's not really a surprise. Um, we've taped the bottom in there, um, got the velcro in there, and I have put the little wing tips on, and I put the little uh, decals on. I would recommend actually putting them on before you glue this on. Because there's actually some little um, like stuff to help you get it out of the mould. These kind of things. Uh, so it doesn't stick very well. But I'm not going to do any more stickers. That's all I really need for this. But um, anyway, yes. This is all finished. It maybe took me four hours to put together. Um, which, uh, considering it's, it's a 40 45 pound bottle from Banggood. The Mini AR Wing. So far quite impressed. Um, we'll see how it goes, of course, though, when we fly it. But thank you all for watching. See you all in the next video, whatever it may be. Bye-bye.